Hey everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day three of the holiday card series. Um, for the next couple of days in the holiday card series, I'm going to be using brand new products from Simon Says Stamp. This is from their latest release, their holiday release. And I thought it'd be really fun to show you how to use some of the products that I helped design. So today I'm going to start out with a very snowflake heavy card. Um, if you followed my holiday card series over the years, you weren't, you're completely familiar with the fact that I love snowflakes. In fact, every single year for Simon Says Stamp, I design a few new snowflakes and name them after people in my life. So this year I've got um, specifically two snowflakes that I'm going to use today. There's actually three in the release, but two of them are named after my friend Gina from Gina K Designs, her two daughters. So they are Alicia and Rena, and I love those girls. I've met them, and they're fantastic and lovely. And so I'm going to be using those two snowflakes plus some snowflakes from years past. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. So here is my snowflake die collection, or actually I think there's a few that are missing, but the two new snowflakes I'll be using today are right here. This is the Alicia snowflake die and the Rena snowflake die. And I'm going to be using both of these snowflakes today, as well as this other die set called Holiday Words on a Line. So I need a few more snowflakes for my card idea. So I have my stack of snowflakes here. I'm going to pick a few of these to use today. And I've, I've selected them. And here is the lineup. I've got Marianne, Ashlyn, Aubrey, Snow Flurries, and Nadine. These are the different snowflakes I'll be using today. So I'm going to be using some glitter cardstock. And the colors I'm using today, it's kind of interesting. I've got white gold, rose gold, and then that purple color, I'm not entirely sure what color that is because I pulled it out of a multicolor pack from Simon and I actually um, bought another pack of this multicolor glitter cardstock a few months later after that and that same purple color isn't in the new multicolor pack. So I'm not sure what color this is. I also couldn't color match it with any of the glitter papers that are sold separately. So this purple shade right here is sort of an enigma. I'm not entirely sure what color it is. It's a little bit too light to be plum and it's a little bit too purple to be amethyst. Um, I did buy an amethyst glitter pack, glitter paper pack, and that color is not this purple. So I'm not entirely sure what color this is. But anyway, that's beside the point. I'll link to the multicolor pack below. There's a lot of great colors in that. So I took all of the snowflake dies and I put it all um, on one color of glitter cardstock. And I'm actually going to run this through my die cutting machine three times. These snowflakes are pretty intricate. And just from experience um, from last year's glitter snowflake, snowflake cards, I know they take quite a bit of pressure to actually cut through everything. So I decided to use a metal adapter plate underneath my die cutting sandwich and then also run that through three times and that cut out all of these snowflakes beautifully. I also want to give you guys a tip for kind of separating these die cuts from the glitter paper. I found that poking them from the back was a lot easier than trying to poke from the front because the glitter cardstock is really distracting and it's a little bit hard to see those cut lines. So poke from the back and then um, and use like a craft pick tool like this one from Tim Holtz and Tonic. It's really great just to poke out all those different areas. So I separated all the snowflakes into their different colors and I was left with this pile of scraps here at the end, um, but I just threw those away. And then I started to stack these snowflakes, one on top of each other, to create multicolor snowflake elements. And I wanted to have all of these selected and put together before I actually start adhering them. So I've got my selection here of all my different snowflakes that I'm putting together. And then when I went to adhere them all together, I tried it a few different ways. And the easiest way I found was to put a big blob of adhesive. And you can use whatever adhesive you like. I'm using Ranger Multimedia Matte here today. Put a big kind of glob of adhesive down on some scratch paper. And then lift up your different snowflakes and wiggle them on top of the adhesive so it gets quite a bit of adhesive on the back. And then press your snowflakes together. 
And this makes it so that the adhesive is only in the center area of the snowflake so that some of those edges like right around the outside edge can kind of fluff up a little bit so these don't look so flat. I didn't want to put adhesive completely on the back of these snowflakes because then they would get pressed down and then you wouldn't have any additional dimension. So that's why I'm only adhering them in the center of each stack of snowflakes. And I'm just using my tweezers to hold the snowflakes and kind of wiggling the snowflake in that adhesive and then pressing them together. And this is the same method of adhes adhesion that I used for when I put them on the actual card itself. And if you have some spots that um, need a little extra adhesive, I just rubbed my fingers over that center area and it kind of smushed everything out and made it so everything stick to sticks together. So I pressed, uh, pushed those aside. I'm gonna work on a background to go behind these snowflakes. So I'm using two different colors of watercolor paint from Magello. I have a nice purple shade and then I'm going to have a nice rosy pink. And I'm getting both of those colors I'm kind of in a pool on my palette so that I can watercolor very quickly. So I have some watercolor paper here taped to a board. This is some Fabriano Artistico Extra White watercolor paper. And I prepped that by um, getting it completely wet. And then I just dropped in some color. And I want these colors to be really pale. I don't want them to be really intense. I don't want it to fight with the snowflakes that are on going to be put on top. So I let this be really faded back and muted. And I dried that with my heat tool and then came back in with a second layer of those same colors. And that just gives it some kind of more harsh watercolor edges and makes it a little bit more dreamlike. So after that was completely dry, I removed it from the board and then trimmed it down. At this point, I decided I would make a five by seven card. So I trimmed it down to just slightly smaller than a five by seven card base. And as far as the card base goes, I'm using some Basil Marshmallow cardstock. Um, normally I've been using my Nina Classic Crest Solar White, but I didn't have a larger piece right then. And so I just grabbed what was handy and that was this Marshmallow cardstock. So I created my five by seven card base, and then I started to arrange my snowflakes on top of this uh, watercolor piece. I adhered the watercolor piece with foam adhesive, and I also die cut that Merry Christmas out of that Holiday Words on a Line die set. And in order to put adhesive on the back, I just use a Xyron sticker maker, and that puts adhesive all along the back of the die cut. It makes it super easy to adhere onto my card base, or onto my card, onto the watercolor panel. So I'm pressing that down to the very bottom of the card, and then I'm going to grab some scissors, and I will be cutting off the ends that go beyond that watercolor piece. That's gonna make it look like um, it was the perfect length to go all the way across. So as far as the snowflakes go, like I said before, I'm using that same um, adhering technique, if you want to call it, where I pick up the snowflakes, kind of wiggle them over the adhesive, and then um, press it down onto my card base, or onto my card front. And I don't press these down so they're squishing the adhesive. Um, it's okay if this adhesive dries and it's a little bit puffed up away from the watercolor paper. I want a little bit of that dimension to be left behind. So these aren't really pressed down and squished. So now I'm using some diamond purple little rhinestones from uh, Little Things by Lucy's Cards or Lucy's Little Things. I can never remember, <laughs> but I'll have them linked down below. But these are like little diamonds and one side is very pointed and the other side has a flat edge. So I'm adhering these to the card with the flat edge to the paper. So I put down a little bit of adhesive, some of that Ranger Multimedia Matte, and then I press those gems down onto my card. And these stick to that adhesive really well, they don't come off. So after I had my little purple, oh, I guess it's purple wisteria, diamond purple wisteria, after that I grabbed some of this uh, Sleeping Beauty mix of sequins, and it's just a different mix of pinks, I thought they were really pretty, and I used those to kind of fill in the gaps and also put in the center of some of the snowflakes. So after I had that card finished, I realized I had all these other snowflakes ready to go. So why not create a second card? 
So I grabbed some white cardstock. This time I did use some Nina Classic Crest Solar white cardstock. And I just made that into a top folding card base and then adhered these three snowflakes. So as far as the sentiment goes, I'm going to be using the Tiny Words Christmas stamp set. This is also from the new Simon release. And I'm using Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment right onto the front of the card. And I wanted to have these snowflakes adhered before I stamped my sentiment so that I could have it in the most perfect position. I grabbed some smaller snowflakes just to fill in those gaps around the sentiment. And then I grabbed some more of those gems and sequins and adhered those around all of the snowflakes. So that finishes the second card and I'm so glad that I decided to create a second card since I had all of those snowflakes just ready to go. In fact, you can see over on the side, I have even more snowflakes that I could use. I could probably create a third card using the remainder of the snowflakes. So here are the two cards all finished. I love all the glitz and glam and the sequins and the rhinestones. Um, I love this color palette. It's kind of girly, but then also really Christmassy with all of those snowflakes on top. I hope you guys enjoyed that super glittery glitzy card. I absolutely love the non-traditional uh, Christmas color palette. I think it's really, really fun and whimsical. So before you go, I've got two more videos on screen for you to check out. These are the day three videos for 2017 and 2016. So you can check those out. And I've got all of the other day three videos listed down below in the video description. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video again. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on Friday for day four of the holiday card series.